Okay, this is a an initial reaction from my wife, who is a uh, card carrying Jehovah Witness, fully mentally in, fully fully physically in, though sort of inactive. Just like the Leo Remini show on Scientology, uh, the wife and I are uh, are uh, big fans of that show. So when that particular show did did a story about Jehovah Witnesses, my wife wasn't to oppose about watching it because she knew Leo Remini's style, and uh, it was just a curiosity. Uh, we watched two or three seasons seasons of of the Scientology documentary but this was something different and it involved her chosen faith or born in faith really she it wasn't really chosen for, it was chosen for her when the oxygen channel came with that documentary two-part documentary the witness that was a little bit easier to sell to my wife as well because we were both fan of that channel or that particular network uh, back in the day when it, when that channel started off, it was a pretty good channel of, of you know, uh, a women-based or marketed to women uh, positivity back in the early 2000s, when, you know, with a lot of shows about women issues and things like that. And I, I actually enjoyed it myself as well. I thought it was pretty good. So uh, we haven't had cable for a long time, so we still have that first conception of it back in the day now it, it turns into something else you know a lot of crying drama and things like that now but nevertheless they made a documentary about the jehovah witnesses and my wife was not opposed about watching that either so i pretty much told her that hey uh the oxygen channel they made a documentary about the witnesses about the uh, uh child abuse cases and they they came up with some new information. Would you like to see it? And she agreed. Even though it was an hour and a half for each episode, we pretty much binge watched both shows that same night, going to sleep very late in, at night. Uh, we had a discussion afterwards, and this recording is going to be what was said in that discussion. A little bit of editing for uh, personal safety reasons and identity protection. Some things in, of what I said in this conversation is, is somewhat code speak between my wife and I. You see, we have a certain way we talk to each other that we both understand each other. But if somebody outside our relationship listens to our conversation, uh, they'll follow, but, but they'll miss a thing or two. Like in, right in the beginning, I was hinting or, or actually demanding that okay, we're actually going to go to a new uh, hall, kingdom hall. And I told her, because of all these uh, child abuse cases and how the elders are really not protecting the kids, and it's and I showed her proof of uh, cover-ups, and even now, even though they came out with an article some months ago about, you know, new procedures now and what the society is doing to protect kids now, I I later showed her that that is just lip service to the, con to the congregation about what they perceive to be doing. I showed her right in the elder's manual that the elder still has to notify the legal department to get permission for them to tell us, the parents, that there's a potential child molester in their congregation or to warn us about them. And I showed her in black and white there in print that that rule is still there. They still want you to go through the legal department before they actually come around to tell us. So we may not even be known. And also in the background in, in my wife and I's situation, she has a history of growing up with child abuse, not her herself or our family members, but friends of hers from when she grew up. So that's going to, you know, be a factor in this, along with a family member who, who was implicated in being a child molester. So that's another case there, too. So there's sort of coincidence number one. Coincidence number two the hall that we're going to go to when we move 
has a potential child molester there as well. It's not confirmed yet. It would take me asking a lot of questions and my wife as well to see if this person is because right now it's just accusation. But I could say that I've been to this guy's court case. He doesn't know me. He doesn't recognize me at all. We never met, but I know of him because he was in the newspapers of being caught child molesting. And it's a different case. He's caught. He's, I went to his court cases. Unfortunately, it was just legal proceedings of, you know, meeting bail and and little things like that, but not the meat of the matter as far as the case itself. I think he plea bargained and I got proof in my files here that he got five years probation. He didn't even go to jail except for, you know, booking for that one time, but he's not going to serve any prison time. He's on probation. And yes, I just verified this week that he's in, he's on Megan's Law website that you could look up all the child molesters in your neighborhood. So I looked his name up and his ugly mug is in that listing. And I showed my wife that. So that's incident number two of, you know, child molesters being associated with Jehovah Witnesses in our case. Now the third case, which is really surprising to me in our current kingdom hall here where we live at, there's potentially somebody who was arrest, or arrested for potential child molestation. I don't know what has become to that, but within the Jehovah Witnesses, there's a sisterhood there. Even like in this case, this person was possibly accused one of her friends actually looked looked him up on the internet and found that he was arrested for child molestation but not charged yet or something to that effect. He He's out. He's out walking about. And he actually got disfellowshipped. And nobody and his disfellowship, as you know, was not stated as to what the nature of that disfellowshipping was. But you know the rumor mill in the Kingdom Hall, uh, people talk. It might be that this guy was caught doing some uh, child molestation or something to that effect. I am going to follow this up with uh, seeing with the court records or police records going down to the county sheriff's department and, and find whatever shred of evidence that I could find as far as being booked, arrested, or what kind of arraignment is being done at this time. Just like I did with this other child molester in the hall that we're going to potentially go to will be so there we have three known potential child molesters and three different locations this thing is hitting home with us and the coincidence I mean just the odds the numbers they don't add up I mean the odds are too much it's like a video I made about suicide within the Jehovah Witness religion I know of three Jehovah Witnesses that committed suicide, where in my worldly, you know, environment, I only knew of one when I was a kid, like around 10 years old, another, you know, uh, messed up kid killed himself and then I knew the guy. But other than that, that's the only incident that I know of, to which directly, you know, there was one or two degree of separation there, where here, in a short amount of time, I already have three incidents of potential child molesters possibly in the community of the kingdom halls and jehovah witnesses in our community that i'm living in now so this is the backdrop of what you know kind of spurred this about and i am sort of evoking my or demanding that i be with our kids 24 7 whether in the hall and everything and that and with that that gives me an excuse to sort of sit down listen to what the speakers are saying and and rebutting what he's saying with my take on the Bible when we drive home or if when I'm with the kids and, and I say, you know, that guy up on stage, he's lying. This is, what, this is what the Bible says right here. And it kind of contradicts what the speaker is saying. Yeah, you know how that goes. So that gives me an in in that particular way as to uh, immersing myself into that culture to deprogram my kids uh, while it's happening, if, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, let me shut up and I'll show you the tape. 
So, would you object for me not to go? I mean, to make to be with them all the time if we when we move because we don't know those people. No, but I'm protective of them. Yeah, but I think we need a second set of eyes okay. that's not paying attention. That's fine. I just I agree that there needs to be a cleansing of that. You know. Mm. Now, with, with all this bad publicity and stuff, do you, do you think that uh, that Satan's is attacking you guys specifically and or whatever? I because that's what they're going to say to cover up this. I believe this is Satan's world, but I also believe that there needs to be a cleansing. Like they're they're right there with the okay. They're always talking about the Catholic and the classic Catholic clergy doing the wrong thing but yeah they're being compared to that that's right <laughs> i feel like that brings reproach upon each other's name so hmm. other than that I'm, i feel like i'll still i still have a wait and see attitude and i'm still protected my, my own children and i think for myself on on that you know mm -hmm. I have a lot of trust issues just because I've had child molesters in my family and I just feel very strongly used the religion to get victims Yeah. and people probably knew about him and he, when I look back on my childhood, my childhood friends or you know people I grew up with were molested by my like mm -hmm. that's not a great childhood memory. No, no. You know? Well, I wonder if they covered that up or whatever back then. For him they to go probably, so long. They probably did, you know. But to me, that takes precedence. And I feel like, I don't feel guilty like, oh, Jehovah wouldn't want this. I feel like Jehovah does want that. If Jehovah is real and he's God and he's wants You would think, yeah. Paradise. Yeah. I feel like he wants this to happen he wants it to be cleansed well it, it's the bible talks a lot about justice mm -hmm. you know i mean yeah you know do you think jehovah witnesses are the chosen people and the only ones that's going to to survive i've grown up thinking it's the true religion but it doesn't mean i don't have questions you know okay i i'm always looking for answers because i I want there to be a future. I want there to be a paradise. Yeah, because I'm, I'm comparing with that analogy. I'm, I'm thinking about the Jews. They were the chosen people. Yeah. And, and they were given direct. Yeah. Pretty they, much direct they lost direction. Their life by and they they Jesus. still yeah they still screwed up and yeah. and was you know put aside and yeah. you know I, I'm like thinking. The, I'm always reading the Bible and trying to understand. Well, I've been doing that too. Yeah. So. Yeah. But but uh But I don't I, feel like it's a doomsday organ. Um like I liked this because they didn't really trash those witnesses, they just wanted justice for their children. Yeah. Or for abuse victims. But at the same time I don't feel like it's a doomsday. Like Armageddon to us is not a doom thing. Mm -hmm. It's more like Jehovah's righteous war before but, uh, the paradise. But according to a lot of their publications, they do say only Jehovah Witnesses are going to survive. Or only worshippers of Jehovah. It's a different thing. No, but they say you have to be associated with the organization. I mean, th there's lots of publications that say that. Uh -huh. and, and I've been co collecting them. I mean, you know, just the uh, yeah, so PDF all, files and everything. They so say the righteous and the unrighteous will be resurrected and... Well, yeah, but the, I mean, still, we, we were st the rest of them are still dust. Mm -hmm. The eight point whatever billion people yeah, but there. Yeah, someone's supporting a child molester. They're not actually really right. But but Jehovah, it's it, it's the spinning. It's the spinning of the story. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, when you go back and you listen, and and you know, uh, is there going to be a talk about you know? Oh, there's going to be negative news about us on the thing don't listen to it it's apostate lies and yeah you know no no they mostly did um just change some of their policy where they put it in the watch out the, the article i gave you mm -hmm. 
which um, which was their version of what they told you guys, but they're still following yeah. the old rules of oh yeah, we could tell yeah, the, that's the, the only thing I've heard. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, to tell tell, tell the families, the but first call meetings. the branch to get permission to tell the families. You know, yeah, where it should the be. Oh yeah, but but still but they control they, 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 I mean, but with an issue like that, still, still, it's part of it. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, if there's nobody like that there, then no big deal. But if there is, you know, yeah, I like to know. I would like to know. I got, we got, we got two, and my job is to protect them. So that's why I'm so critical like of known threats. I don't consider, yeah. you know, I mean. This is a known threat to me, and mm -hmm. I gotta be there. I gotta yeah, give I the like talk, you know, and I'm hypersensitive about yeah. that because of that, you know, because, yeah. you know, I've, I've been following these stories for years. I'm very hypersensitive about all of that. I mean, you've watched me be hypersensitive. Oh, I know, I know. You. I tell people you're a mama bear, you know, yeah. so so don't mess with you or. I or act like I'm Nice, but I'm like, no, I seen you in that. I seen you in action. I know, I know you would <laughs> rip out somebody's throat, you know. Yeah. But so I, I'm not worried there. But uh, like I'm not clueless. Like, what's so scary is it, it just takes one incident to to totally, you know. It does, but it could happen at school too. And yeah. I worry about that too. I and, worry about school just as much as I worry about church. Yeah, and and. And you we know, send we send them to school every day, hoping for the best. But what if it happened at school? We we talk to them. I mean, we yeah. talk to them and, well, and warn them. And but show. that's what I'm saying. Like you're you're trying to keep them safe, but you still have to send them to school. You still have yeah to. yeah. But at the meetings, I'm always with them. Yeah, I swear. Like I sit with them if they're like leaving my side, even though they're older. Mm -hmm. I go look for them. Mm -hmm. I'm probably more vigilant than anyone else at. Oh, I'm sure you are, and, and you, like I said, when well, you know me at parties, I'm like, yeah. where are they? Where are they? That's how I am everywhere. I don't. Right, right. I know. I, <laughs> I know. don't turn off. And uh, like I said, when when we move and everything, I, I'm just gonna be there. You know, it's a show of force. You know. Yeah. It's like, hey. Well, cause it's, yeah, just like you know when that guy was texting me and. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like you're all, dude, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you because know. Because they don't see you around and they think they can just, you know. Yeah, they got some misconceptions about me, you know, or whatever. Or, or about me, like, I'm not close to you just because you're not around. And they don't know that we're tight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> You know. We're tight, not a not in like the jealousy type or or, exactly. or helicopter like, thing, but we're we're like if you see me like like if they see me like talking to people that are the opposite sex or whatever, that doesn't mean anything. No, that just means my husband's not jealous, and I can have conversations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've known each other but, for so long, and I trust you, and hopefully you trust me. You know. I do. So that's why I'm not stressed that we're living apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick up some chicken uh, <laughs> SUV. Yeah. Probably, I mean, that makes me hot. <laughs> <laughs> In some towns out there, it does, I think. You know, like, it's like, oh, he's got a job. <laughs> he's got a job. <laughs> <laughs> turn my five into an eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been following this for a long time. I've been doing a lot of research and everything, and and uh, I just want to be and, and and not looking at just I'm you not know. Clueless. I just to me like um, I, spirituality is like really important to me. I, I know it having is having a future. I know it is that that's why I'm taking the the the, the time and, and, and effort to yeah, know about it. This hurts. Me, yeah, you know, when I see and, and when when I show this stuff, it's not to hurt you; it's just to a, yeah. aware, you know. I but, mean, okay, it hurts. It hurts, maybe like, but I realized this was an informative show. It wasn't a trash show. Mm -hmm. It was real. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like 
know. Yeah, yeah. Even and the, they're the investigator I saw, everyone I've met, I really like them. Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't trashing that part, you know. Mm-hmm. And even those elders standing out there, he was like, he's all like asking one of them, "Would you have your, would you let your children hang out with him?" And he's all, "No." See, that's that's a degree of this. Uh, what do they call that? Cognitive dissonance. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's yeah. still in it, and, and he knows the details I, of it. I don't and, think I could go to a hall though, knowing someone. A ch- if a child molester was there, I wouldn't go. Yeah. If like I know. Like, if I knew, like, one person, there was, like, mm. for sure, you know? Yeah. I, I, I don't think I could... Even if it's there. suspected, like, okay, that dude that, that got caught, and we don't know the status of that, because yeah. he's, maybe, maybe he's going through the court system, and we don't know, and he's out on bail. Who knows? You know, and, and I, could, I could find out, well, I could try to find out. If he, if he was at that hall, I would be creeped out, because... I mean, he's used objects, and he's just gross. I can't mm-hmm. have... Like, even if he saw my kids, that would put it in his mind to, like, be after them. Mm-hmm. In my mind, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't be around it. i have to change halls or m- just not go. Yeah. Like, that's how... Well, wow, that's how... For, for well, because yeah, it's I mean, scary because... He's still around. They're criminal. They're not just child molesters. They're criminal. They, like, target... Yeah. And they could yeah, show it's calculated. Up house. They could take them from your their schools. Yeah. You know. It's calculated. I mean, they they spend time they grooming them to to eventually because they're trying to hide their tracks. Yeah. You know, it's hard because it's, there's so much evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I do filters a lot of this stuff because there is a lot of hate out there. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and so I mean, and that's why I was saying, like, when I was first going to watch this, if it was about like hate, yeah, I'd be like, no. But it was actually these very caring individuals. Yeah, that yeah. Really hurt. And, and I want to give the benefit of the doubt too, because if so I if, if I was into this watching this, it was because it was real. Okay, was like, and I'm glad that makes me feel better because you know. It, it, it's it's hard to sort of f- figure out how to approach you about it, you know, because it, it, it always sounds like I'm attacking attacking your faith, which I'm not. I'm just looking for accountability like these, these people. Yeah. And I got two that I don't know what they're getting into. Yeah. So I am... Well, colli- I worry more about their internet thing because they've had all those issues. Yeah. I feel like when we all get to live together, you can oversee that more and yeah, be more yeah. of a presence. Definitely, definitely. Like, and just be more involved as just yeah. around them and stuff and too. You ready for bed because we're going to be miserable tomorrow. I know and I'm like not even ready for that. <laughs> <laughs>